Pig and the Day at the Museum. At breakfast, Mummy and Daddy Pig ha have a surprise. We have a special day planned, says Mummy Pig. We are going to a museum. What is a museum? asked Peppa. It's a place full of interesting things. Sometimes those things are very old, says Daddy. Older than you? asked Peppa. Yes, says Daddy. Even older than me. Here we are, says Mummy Pig. The museum is very big, says Peppa. Ooh, says George. Mommy and Daddy Pig buy tickets from Miss Rabbit. What would you like to see first? asks Miss Rabbit. Dwells, cries Peppa. Dinosaur, says George. Grrr. The first stop is the King and Queen's room. It is full of things from long ago. Peppa likes the beautiful robes. And look, there's a crown. There is a throne, too. Peppa wishes she could sit on it. She imagines what it'll be like to be queen. To wear the royal crown, to wear the crown and sit on the royal throne. If I were the queen, she says, I would eat cake every day. The family bows to her royal highness, Queen Peppa. George does not want to wear a crown and sit on the throne. He wants to see the dinosaurs. George stands at the doorway to the big dinosaur room. To the dinosaur room. There are many unusual creatures here. Everything is so Big, says Peppa in a very big voice. Oh, says, says George in a very small voice. George sees a big dinosaur. Don't worry, says Daddy. Those are just dinosaur bones. They may just be bones, but they are very big. George can just imagine what it would be like to be a dinosaur. He would be bigger than Peppa. He could chase her. George sees something smaller and not very scary. It's a robot dinosaur. Everyone is hungry, so they go to the museum cafe for cake. After the snack, it is time to see the next exhibit. There's a special one at the museum today, says Mummy Pig. It's all about space. George's friend Edmund is at the museum too. Edmund knows a lot about space. He and George wear space helmets to the tour of the exhibit. Miss Rabbit gives them their tickets. Everyone gets on board the space ride. Blast off, says Mr. Rabbit. He, he is the tour guide. This is just pretend, isn't it? asks Peppa. Yes, says Mr. Rabbit. It's just pretend. The rocket takes them to the pretend moon. There are pretend planets too. Do you know what the planets are made of? asks Mr. Rabbit. Cardboard, says Peppa. Well, these models are made out of cardboard, but the real planets are made out of other things. Rock and ice and gas, says Edmund. What about cheese? asks Daddy Pig. I thought the moon was made out of cheese. That's just silly, Daddy, says Peppa. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head, says Mr. Rabbit. Do you know why? There's less gravity, yells Edmund. 
You're right. We can make you feel like you're on the moon with these special big rubber bands. Everybody straps into the rubber bands. They jump, boing, 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 just like on the moon. Miss Rabbit takes their picture. At the gift shop, Peppa gets the picture of everyone jumping on the on the pretend moon. Daddy is hungry again, so he gets a piece of moon cheese. Then it's time to go home. It ha- it has been a great day at the museum. Later, Mummy Pig asks Peppa and George, "What's your favorite thing at the museum?" Peppa liked everything at the museum, but she does have a favorite. The crown says Peppa. George liked the space ride, but that wasn't his favorite. Dinosaur says George. I had two favorites, said Daddy Pig: the cake and the cheese. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where Daddy Pig. Buys moon cheese. I don't think there's even such thing as cheese in the moon.